Good evening. Before I start this video, I would like to take the time to say to y'all, Happy Valentine's Day to each and every one of you. And I hope you guys take care of your loved ones, the ones that you care about. Give them a good gift, all that stuff. Because today is a special day for your husbands, wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, sexual partners, baby days, baby mamas. Get them something for Valentine's Day. Just make them feel appreciated. And I hope y'all day has been going very good. So let's get to the regular newscast and I'll see you there. All right. Thanks. Live from party to you. Live from Harden Studios. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the last of my discast. I want to say about so you sit back, relax, relax, and I'll see you later. What's up, I'm Jay? Are you still on? Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you later. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So, today's topic we're going to talk about is the stuff we should have been taught in high school. So, um, well, I haven't had everything memorized on this topic. So, guess what I'm going to be do doing today with y'all? Um... I'm going to be reviewing these notes right here that I wrote down with y'all, um, and we could just review together, go over it together, and, uh, talk about what should have been taught in high school. I did write down a lot of information, um, that I could, you know, have trouble remembering, so why not have an open book conversation about this discussion, um, on what we should have been taught in high school, um, the last topic um, I was talking about is, are our schools safe? And thank God that we all got out of high school just in time for it. For us, all this crazy stuff began, such as teachers making threats, uh, police putting students in jail and all that stuff, uh, students shooting up schools, uh, making threats, shooting up schools, um, fights starting, or whatever, what's been going on. But I'm so happy I got this topic over with. But, um, we need to go ahead and talk about this topic, but it's another school related topic that we're going to talk about. So, um, yeah, had a lot of information wrote down, such as, you know, um, what should have been taught in high school. But trust me, when I said things that should have been taught in high school, I mean, we should have been, re been ready for the real world uh, 10 years ago. But apparently some of us are still not. Some of us are still living with their parents. Some of us are on welfare. Some of us are homeless. Some of us are committing crimes. I mean, it's just crazy on how, you know, the government is treating us. Inflation's starting to creep about, you know, anything is just crazy. So, um, yeah. So, all right. So, what are we going to talk about, um, in this topic? Um, so, let's talk about work the factors we're going to talk about first of all is talk about the world real world in which includes cost of living working business family living courts corrupt government police brutality protests gender equality and survival all these topics discussed should be explained in high we were unprepared almost 10 years ago and what i meant by that is um I, I'm reading along on the notes that I wrote. Um, so just bear with me, folks. Um, remember, this is an open book conversation we have. And so, um, yeah, so we're here to express our thoughts on what we think of today's government and the world around us. Because right now we're dealing with the coronavirus. And I just read uh, on the article that... Um, 900,000 deaths are occurring right now, which is not a very good number right now. And we're almost nearing 1 million deaths in the United States. So what does that tell you about, about, about the world? Um, makes you feel prepared, right? You prepared to die? No, of course, nobody is prepared to die. It's that people want to commit suicide. Oh, next time we're going to talk about is depression among us adults and kids. So 
be sure to get look be on the lookout for that topic as well so um back to what i was saying so i thought we had everything in the bag and i thought low paying jobs could help us get by with bills um and another thing too uh we gotta look out for profit schools um colleges and things like that um that should have been taught as well um thought college or some sort of higher education would help us get better jobs thought since being 18 would give us the freedom to move out thought since um being an adult can give us power to do anything we want to do thought you had all the freedom in the world and not exactly folks but when you get out of high school things are a different ball game you don't even get to do anything you want because of money you have to pay bills to keep your apartment. You have to keep, pay bills to keep electricity on. You got to spend money to get food. You have to go to work just to get money to do all these things. Um, and uh, people will always tell you what to do. Um, even if you don't, you don't like it and you want to be combating, you want to get into fights because people are saying something rude to you. I mean, that's that's how um, things shouldn't have been taught in high school. Um, you also got a, a manager yourself on how you be wealthy including your physical and mental health of course um and manage money and time invest things you want to invest without having to think about going bankrupt so when you when we talk about bankrupt just say you want to save on a car or house or condo um a building you want you want to start your business in i mean it's all about money it's all about power and control but if you're not careful on managing these things Things can get taken away from you and repossessed. And, you know, it's not going to look uh, great on you because that will go on your record and stuff because of that. Um, and, you know, credit goes down. So, yeah. And um, what else am I about to say? Explain about managing bill and how it affects your credit. Yeah. Bills do affect your credit on how you pay your bills and stuff. But to some majority of folks, um, I just read this topic yesterday, yesterday on... Uh, car insurance and you know in Huntsville Alabama I just read that car insurance keeps going up and up and up amongst drivers and it's almost like um 12,000 or 13,000 a year um and I was shocked at first when they I thought they said it's $1,300 a month I meant to say 1300 1200 a month not 13,000 of course I'm sorry about that um 1300 a year I meant to say so um I wouldn't even be surprised if people, folks are paying thirteen hundred a month. I mean, that's crazy amongst car insurance. But you know, I read this topic, and these folks are talking about, um, well, we're just raising the rents, um, rates up just to protect drivers. No, you're not. You're hurting the drivers, really. I mean, why would you raise insurance just to be greedy? I mean, you're not doing it for to protect drivers. You're just being greedy. How about that? Okay. So, um, explain types of jobs out there. Explain if credits would affect your chances of getting a high-paying, respectable job. Yeah, that too, um, on, depends on how you pay your bills and how you're doing on your credit, getting taxes and all that stuff. You might be hired to certain jobs. You might not be hired to certain jobs, but, you know, depends on how everything goes. It's just like, you know, getting a house or a car, so... And explain about criminal records and how it affects your chances of getting housing, government exceptions, and government such. Employment such, I mean to say. Um, yeah, so criminal records do greatly affect your chances of getting a job. Um, even though <clears throat> you might get a low paying job or minimum wage job, um, but a higher paying job if you do have a felony or previously convicted of a felony, yeah. Those are at the door. You can't get a high paying job, of course, unless you work hard and employers are unlucky enough to hire you, of course. Um, damn, that's crazy right there. But um, it just made me think about um, how employers will look at you. Um, and uh, I'm it's very grateful to some people to get second chances anyway. Explain how to manage your car, um, which includes insurance, yeah. Just finished, got through talking about insurance. Um, we're going to be talking about insurance in one topic in the future. Um, keeping up with the oil pressure, coolant, and motor maintenance. That should have been taught in driver's ed, of course. Yeah, 
These high school teachers are too lazy to be talking to us about, you know, all these things. They're all always worried about a paycheck. That's it. Nothing else. So, oh yeah, we had one teacher that taught us how, in math, the how to prepare for real life, such as writing checks, um, managing money and all that stuff, buying cars, buying houses, you know, buying food, you know, going to work and stuff, getting paid, you know, all that stuff. So I applaud that teacher. I'm not going to say her name out loud, but, you know, she's a very nice teacher. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to say her teacher anyway, but, you know, I want to give a shout out to Mrs. Stutz of Huntsville High School for preparing us for real world. That's the only one teacher that I applaud that helped us go into the real world because nobody else wouldn't help us at all because all they worried about is a goddamn paycheck. That's it. So, Mrs. Stutz, if you're somehow watching this, I want to thank you for helping us prepare for the real world and stuff. T teaching us how to write checks. Teaching us how to go to work. Um, uh, seeing how we get paid. And um, help us how to buy houses. Putting down uh, payments for a house, cars, and everything. Everything is expensive. I want to thank you for that. But, you know. Yes, so, um, I was afraid to speak it out at first because, you know, people get mad at stuff, but I just learned you can just speak your mind whatever you want to, but, you know, and also, um, I had a co-worker, uh, suggested that I do this topic, so, um, uh, shout out to you, you're gonna, you're gonna, um, you're gonna see your name at the end, I promise, but, no, I, I think you're not gonna see, but, anyways, um, I'm gonna send you a link and, you know, I hope you're happy about that, but, all right, so, um, all right, so continue on, ask a question why the teachers didn't teach all these things, were they too worried about a paycheck, do they not care about the well-being of other students' futures, or they just didn't care at all, explain how difficult life would be as an adult rather than being a kid. Explain that the some age groups of young age people have succeeded in getting houses, cars, great careers, great money moves, and explain in the next topic the background of the teachers. Um, also explained check writing and keeping a bank account. Oh yeah, keeping a bank account is very important. Explain harassing calls, but this right here explained that some groups of young age people have succeeded in getting houses cars great careers great money moves but you know the the factor of doing that is you if you're famous on youtube tiktok or whatever being internet famous uh we're still gonna be talking about that in the future um and uh and so the life of social media celebrities is that um sometimes when people are smiling at the camera people with kids you know millions of views you know it's just it's just like they're a happy normal family but it's not always what it seems to be because you know behind the scenes sometimes they can be very abusive very aggressive toward their kids to act right act for the camera you know get your acting right you know people um you don't you know their parents provide children scripts and stuff you know children don't even understand the concepts of acting really it's just like being a child star in Hollywood. Sometimes your mentality isn't there at the age of three, five, especially at eight months old because you don't know what a camera is. You don't know what a script is. It's just parents just force shit on you um, just, to, just for the parents to get money off their kids. I mean, it's very sickening. It's very disgusting. You explain children to these child molesters. You explain children to these horrible horny hungry people you're exploiting children to these greedy hollywood directors you know and all these people are just like oh it's just a happy family i mean i'm so happy for them it's just i wish i could be that happy family i wish i could be famous but you don't really want to be famous if you're going to be greedy because you don't want to meet famous people that are very selfish and it's just very wrong you know, just to exploit these people like that. But I'm out of topic. I'm going to talk about all that in the next, in the topic in the future. But back to this topic I'm going to be talking about. Um, let's see. Uh, what should I explain out of these um, uh, factors that I wrote? Uh, I'm not going to explain all of it. I just um, 
wanted to say something um, about um, about what you have been taught in high school. Um, explain how difficult life would be as an adult, right? <coughs> right? <coughs> Rather than be a kid, but um, like I said, being an adult can be difficult if you don't know how to manage your bills, you don't know how to manage a car, you're living on your own, you gotta buy food on your own. People are going going off on you about paying your bills. Um, a lot of people are going off on you about certain stuff, and you know, you say something back to them that's just as nasty as theirs, and you know, people want to fight you and stuff. People want to break into your house just you know because you're talking shit. You know, people can send people after you because you're talking shit. Um, being depressed at home and lonely. Um, people, people talking shit and after they use you. And so, there's a lot of things um, you gotta look out for. Um, and of course, um, were the teachers worried about a paycheck rather than uh, teaching the students about their future? Of course, um, most likely the teachers are worried more about a paycheck, but. Not all the teachers are worried about a paycheck uh, than teaching students. Some teachers love to teach because it's fun for them. And they want the best for their students, which I applaud for that. So, um, yeah, so do they care about the well-being of their students? Well, 50-50 chance. Um, or are they just getting a chair? Again, 50-50 chance. All right, so um, I already talked about explaining criminal records and explain the types of jobs out there. Of course, there can be sit-down jobs, there can be hard labor jobs. Um, some of hard labor jobs don't even pay well at all. Some hard labor jobs do pay really, really well all on, as long as you're um, up to speed and put a lot of mind and effort into it. Um, a lot of sit-down jobs are pay well too. So, um, And minimum wage jobs such as McDonald's, um, Burger King, Long John Silver's, Calvin D's. We're, I'm still, we're still in Alabama, so we're still at minimum minimum wage of seven twenty five an hour, which is the lowest in Alabama. So you know, I'm definitely going to be talking about that in the future. Um, and you know, let's see, I'm going to go back. Um, and I still, like I said, um, ten years ago, I thought we had this in the bag, and we just want to move out of our parents' house so bad because we got tired of treating like. We're being five years old, so, um, yeah, and, like, we're talking about the real world, such as, um, revolves cost of living, um, of course, um, we're going to be talking about rent inflation in the future, so, um, and get working, biz working, um, I think we covered that already, um, business, I'm going to be talking about business mostly in my, uh, videos, so, uh, we're going to we're, we're not worried about that. Family living. Oh, yeah. Child support. Baby moms find baby daddies. You know, mothers taking children away from their daddies and all that stuff. That that topic right there really pisses me off a little bit, actually. Police brutality. Another topic that really pisses me off is police fighting colored people and all that stuff. Because I don't know we're a threat to them. But how are we a threat to them anyway? So, um... Protests, uh, yeah, uh, gender equality, survival, so, yeah. Alright, so, what else I, I haven't covered yet, um, what I want to talk about, um, let's see. Last ask what about teacher, why I didn't teach all these things. Uh, yeah. Harassing calls, um, to, oh yeah, harassing calls. Have you ever got a harassing calls about, you know, about uh your extended car work to warranty medical insurance and all that you just always hang up you know or you just ignore the calls but they keep calling and calling even though you yell at them to stop calling me stop calling you sometimes they can be rude they can be selfish you know they can be belligerent you know they can cuss back at you you know it, it's a lot of things that could happen but anyway um yeah harassing phone calls you know and they fool you, um, saying they're a medical insurance company and want to let neck brace. Thought, assuming that you're a senior, like 70 years old, and you're not even 70 years old. You told me you're 29, and they just immediately hang up on you. I mean, what kind of legitimate company hangs up on you? You know, companies don't even call you about, you want a neck brace, you want a uh, car warranty, car insurance, da 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 something like that. You know, it's just very annoying how, you know, some people have the nerve to call you and you don't and you know um you ask these people to put you on the do not call list you know 
they pass around in different companies just to call you really so yeah it's very it's very sickening right here that these people are just in it for the money that's it you know all these people insurance companies food industries people raising up food prices teachers not teaching students right um let's see um employers not treating people right you know courts want your money police wanting your money just just to get your freedom i mean it's crazy that's all about all about the world is money really that's what the world is today it's all about money in some other countries it's not so um but uh i think we're gonna be ending this topic right here folks because i think i don't even have anything else to say or talk about so i think i covered everything right here um explain all the jobs out there managing your bills and all this stuff you know I mean you gotta pay your bills on time managing yourself physical and mental health um we're gonna be talking about the mental health and violence so don't so um manage time and money invest things you want to invest no, 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 no. okay so yeah so that's the that's everything we're gonna be talking about today because i don't even have anything else to say so um i'm gonna be ending this newscast right here so um until next time i'm jerome harden founder and graphic designer of jerome martin studios i'm out peace